Hello everyone, it's Quest Quenchers here today, and I want to talk about my uh, first impressions of Shattered Space, the new DLC for Starfield. And I want to say it's quite positive. I'm enjoying it. There's uh, there's a lot like of you know kind of weird things to do with House Varun. There's you know there's new weapons and new armors and stuff. I mean not much. I think there's like two new guns and then maybe like three new, uh, I think like two new spacesuits maybe. Um, and, and then a few clothes with different variations. Uh, so it's it's a little bit light, but where I'm liking it is the weirdness and this, of the story. It's just, it's just weird, <laughs> you know. It's like a magically, spiritually, religionly kind of thing. And it's something that I've been wanting from an Elder Scrolls, to be honest. And from, like, keep playing, I discover something called the Way Shrine of Redemption. And it definitely gives off a, hey, we want to make Elder Scrolls instead of this. <laughs> and it's like, a, it's quite a weird feeling uh, coming across something that's called, like, a Way Shrine. Because it does make me think about Oblivion and their, the, the Way Shrines there and the Elder Scrolls in general and stuff like that. So I was thinking, just through all of it, I was like... I'm thinking Fallout to begin with, with the introduction. And then the the aspects of the sort of weird interdimensional kind of thing, the void, the, the, the spirit looking kind of person, the voices in your ears and stuff uh, when you're walking around in caves and stuff like that. Uh, it's just, it just screams out, hey, <laughs> look, you get this, this nostalgia. Yeah, we, we make stuff like this. You know, remember the good old days of Skyrim and uh, Oblivion and Fallout 1, 2 and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's it's nice. It's picking up those member berries and stuff like that. But I do think that it requires more. I mean, I think the gang, the you know, Bethesda in general needs to move on to the Elder Scrolls because they really want to make it because it's just. What it is is Elder Scrolls in space right now with this magic stuff. <laughs> that's that's just weird. But they're like, oh, it's reality. But it's like it's really weird because you know it's it's a sci-fi kind of thing instead of aspects. But it's very like it's got religion in it with the Varun and the great serpents and stuff. I'm like, this is a warm up to what they're going to do in the Elder Scrolls. I feel, um, and they're just getting their toes wet again to sort of like start writing that kind of stuff. I feel. Um, cause it, it just felt like I was, like I said, I was felt like I was playing a fallout and then it went like religiously with the house Varun stuff. And, uh, and I'm like, hmm, this is a, this would be like, I really want the Elder Scrolls. <laughs> so yeah, it's making me want an Elder Scrolls instead of kind of enjoying the Starfield stuff. But then again, I am, it's different. And that's what I wanted from this DLC. I wanted it to be weird and uh you know different and alien and it is giving me that so it's met my expectations now um uh, i haven't left the planet so that's cool all the missions are here i have fast traveled a few times but i have been using the buggy uh i haven't seen like uh, anything that i could just like oh look, let's go and explore that cave let's have a look in there or anything just yet but apparently there is like 50 locations you can go to and stuff and I've been to a few and I haven't seen any repeating just yet, but I am very early. Uh, so I might, you know, do uh, some exploring in the next sort of episode that I'm going to be, you know, publishing and stuff. Um, but yeah, so far it's, uh, it's I would say it's delivered for me in the story-wise. Whereas weapons are fairly light and stuff and there's no, it, it's mainly just reskins of like the laser weapon, the solace and, and stuff like that. Uh, which is, you know, something that is like, oh, it's a bit it's a bit lazy instead of making like a new kind of design kind of thing or unique weaponry for that. Uh, or like building upon the uh, the weapons that are already sort of in like, uh, well, like, the, you know, the, the Rune Rune's weapon, like maybe making a, I would have thought like have a sniper rifle variant that's like bigger and bulkier or, a, you know, kind of thing or, you know, a rapid fire or you know, seeing some actual earth guns modified to the Varun way. Um, but no, it's, uh, it's, it's, so it's, you know, it's, 
not that much content, but this, like I said, I think this, that's where the story is. It's more like this is going to be a narrative-driven story kind of thing that's having some weird shit, and it's going to be fun. <laughs> so, um, so far, yeah, I'd say it's, de it's delivering. Now, I'm only like probably six hours in, and I'm, I, you know, I've just been doing the main quest. I've done a few side bits. I think I might do some more side bits because I don't want to complete it like the main quest very quickly. So yeah, that's uh, that's my first impressions. It's you know it's fun, it's interesting, it's uh, it's getting there. Uh, I just need it to uh, keep going basically and have a really a cool twist maybe, um, and you know s just some weird stuff happen, <laughs> maybe new uh, starborn powers or something like that, uh, or just new powers in general. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's going cool. I've like I'm I'm liking the side quest. I'm liking the main quest so far, uh, and I'm you know like I said, looking forward to more. So yeah, that's my first impressions. I'm, like I said, only six hours into it. Uh, maybe by the end I'm gonna be like, yeah, absolutely hate it. Never mind. I was just happy that we had something, but it you know I was being bored of playing other stuff. <laughs> uh, but we'll we'll see. So we'll you know we'll give it some time, and then I'll I'll go over it. In a proper review and be like all right so is this good story writing is this interesting at all it was it was i just hyped that i was playing stuff in the starfield universe by bethesda was i just having the member berries being like oh this feels very elder scrollsy and fallouty so i was kind of enjoying that more uh so yeah we'll see like when i've calmed down from it and i had a proper analysis of it to see if it's any good uh, but like i'm i'm pretty sure it is because i've you know, I've, I'm enjoying it. I actually want to play more, but I've got to stop myself because <laughs> I need to record it. <laughs> anyway, that's all from me. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.